Hello, this is Joe Pryor, the virtual real estate team in Oklahoma, and I want to talk the ugly I word, inflation. Now, we know that through the pandemic, especially in 2020, inflation really wasn't existent. When a economy just kind of goes down for the craziest thing that we've ever seen in terms of illnesses, in terms of lockdowns, then the economy is not going to generate just a whole lot of inflation. Now, at some point, it does. So, you know, for one thing, if we just take what the federal government has done through the Congress, we have created more stimulus than we had created in the 2008 mortgage meltdown. That's how serious it was taken at that time. And it hasn't stopped it, hadn't stopped with the new administration. We just saw the latest uh, rescue package and we have a $3 trillion rescue package coming up. And this is not counting the trillions of dollars that the Federal Reserve is pumping into money right now in order to create low interest rates for everyone. And so the government borrows at low rates and the government always borrows money to support itself, as well as you going out there and buying a home or buying a car. They're investing in all of these things to create economic stability. Now, at some point, we've got to figure out a way to pay for these trillions upon trillions of dollars, maybe in terms of taxes, but the one thing that we know is that the Federal Reserve can't go forever in terms of the quantitative easing. We can't keep producing multi-trillion dollar uh, uh, policies uh, out of the Congress. We just can't keep spending this much money. And at some point, interest rates are going to go up. Now, they're not going to go up a lot. Uh, I looked at a recent survey by the Mortgage Bankers uh, Association, and they're showing an increase by the end of this year and an increase by the end of next year. Now, what that may mean Instead of a 3%, uh, you may be at 4.5 or 4.75 if you're an owner occupant. But it is going to go up because, again, the situation is, is that in order to finance debt, you've got to float more mortgage backed securities, more treasury notes. These are the things that have to be done. It's a good time to buy real estate right now, even though inventories are low because the rates are still very, very good. But at some point, inflation is going to happen. You don't want deflation. You don't want stagflation. You're going to have to accept more inflation coming. And when that happens, interest rates do go up. There's no way to time this market except to say the rates right now are outstanding.